So now we have our attribution for our picture of a sloth. So I want to put in that picture of a sloth. Now, first of all, I have already added my image. And right there, you can see where it has sloth. I can even click on it and look at it. But again, this has nothing to do with my website so far. It's just another file um, in the same folder with my website. Now, the coding. So let's uh, give myself a little room here so you can see it. Um, it is IMG, standing for image. So that is the actual tag, but there's more inside of the tag now. I'm going to do SRC, please not SCR. Um, a lot of people do that. SRC stands for source and equals. Now, for the source, if I wanted to, I could go back to Creative Commons. I could find the address of this picture, not the one up here, but the URL here. I could do copy image address. So you could do this straight from the website, and I would put it in uh, quotes. And usually it can be really long. Actually, this one's kind of short compared to a lot of them. Um, and then I can so close the quotes, and just that will do it. So image source, and you'll see the picture there. Now, what they teach us in this is since we've already added the picture to our files here, it's a little bit easier just to really add this. In fact, the beautiful thing is if I just put in the first quotes, sorry, and it even has right there, sloth, has all the possible ones. So I put that in, it closes the quotes, there you've got the sloth. Now, you will know, so first of all, it's there. It's good. I, in fact, I can take out this, I want a picture of a sloth here. So I have my sloth. Now, and sorry, the attribution is below it, looks beautiful, but obviously you can't see it that well. Um, it's a little too big. So here is how to change that. I'm going to click after that. Now, please put a space here. If not, you get these weird errors sometimes in linking later on. So I'm going to put a space and I'm going to say height. So I'm going to deal with it. You can do height or width or both. I'm going to do height and I'm going to give a random number of pixels. Um, height equals, let's go for 300 PX, 300 pixels. And boom, there you go. If that's too small for you, adjust. Now, when you adjust the height, it automatically adjusts the width. If not, if you do the width, it could look kind of strange. So if I said width equals 300 pixels, so it's both the same, which makes a square, it will start stretching things. And it could look kind of weird. I would probably do height or width. That way, it will keep the proportions the same. But again, you want bigger. Make it a little bit bigger, 300, let's make it 500. So it's kind of up to you. You want to see what looks best on your website, but just adding that height space, height equals will adjust the size. And that's all there is to it. Image, IMG, source, SRC equals, this is the, got to be the image. This has to be exactly the same. If you, if I did just a capital here, it's not going to work. It's going to give me that. In fact, this brings up another good point, the alt text. So in here, if I put in uh, if I put in alt equals and these are just going to be words. I'm going to say um, three toad cloth. So if the image doesn't work now, you can see how it will write three toad sloth there, so people know what it should be. Um, but again, that's because it's wrong. It'll choose either the source or the alt. It'll have to choose the alt because the source isn't working. So again, if I change this to a lowercase, boom, I have my sloth back. There you go. A little bit more to this, but just got to remember the little parts. Image, source. Um, the alt doesn't have to be there, but I recommend it. And you don't have to have a height or width, but if you want to make an adjustment, it's great to have.